What better way to celebrate summer and soak up some vitamin D than being surrounded by friends, sunshine, and some great summer cocktails? That's exactly what you'll find at Carnival Brazilian Grill, where mixologist Ben Shemp recently whipped up some tasty food and summer cocktail pairings that are sure to tempt your taste buds and having you calling all your girlfriends to join you on their great patio. There is nothing better than enjoying a nice, refreshing beverage in the summer, especially when it's paired with a food that complements it perfectly. So we have beverage manager Ben Shemp here with yeah. us at Carnival Brazilian Grill, and he's going to whip up some cocktails. So yeah. thanks for having us out here. Yeah. So first off, how do you change your drink menus when it comes to summer to bring these more refreshing drinks? A lot of times we change the menu as often as the season allows us. Um, this, this year it kind of took longer with all the rain that we had. But uh, fresh juices, some fun fruity liqueurs, um, fresh fruits that are in season really well. Uh, we like to muddle them in the cocktail to kind of bring out that fresh fruit. Really kind of matches the warm days outside, these mangoes or pineapples, stuff like that. Yeah, sounds yeah. delicious. So we have three drinks paired with three different food items Correct. that we're going to go through yep. today. Up first, we have the pineapple mojito. Pineapple mojito. So we're famous for mojitos around here. So I'm going to make one for you and kind of explain how we're making it. Okay. So we need to cut some limes up, quarter them. We use about three little lime quarters, a scoop of sugar, okay. and then we're going to muddle that together. When you muddle the limes, you just want to kind of get the lime juice out of the limes and mix really well with the sugar. And then you'll add your mint leaves. You want to get all the leaves off of the stems. I can smell it. Yeah. The fresh mint has a really nice aroma oh. to it. Oh, yeah. And I don't muddle the, the mint a lot of places, or a lot of people like to muddle the mint. But I don't because you're going to over-release the oils and it's going to turn into your cocktail bitter. Okay. So you don't want to do that. And then one shot of One shot of our rum. Rum. Yep. Rum. Bacardi rum goes in mojitos. And then ice. And since we're adding soda water to our mojito and a little bit of pineapple juice, I don't shake it too much, but I need to integrate the flavors. So we give it just a very short shake. And there we have Ooh, that looks a delicious. pineapple mojito. Mm -hmm. And that we love to pair with our pineapple chicken sandwich here at the restaurant. So pineapple, it's a big pineapple. thing this summer? We're famous for pineapple, yeah. Our gauchos have the cinnamon roasted pineapple, so we put our pineapple in almost everything that we can. Mm -hmm. Got the pineapple mojito, the chicken, and that's, that's got the gaucho pineapple on top. The sweetness of the drink pairs nice with the spicy pesto sauce on oh, the... Oh, it looks delicious. I'm going to try this. Yeah. That is amazing. Refreshing. Light, oh my gosh, crisp. so refreshing. Yeah, that oh. on a hot patio on a hot summer yes. day. I can definitely see how that is a yeah. favorite around here. Bring it on. The next one, summer sangria. Yeah, so we like to mess around with some sangrias here too. So the way we're going to make this is kind of whatever fruit you have on hand really. Uh, we like to use lemons and oranges for our white sangrias. The important part for this is uh, you need a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. That's the best way to make sangrias around here. Um, it has really high acidity, some nice grapefruit notes, um, some tartness to it. So with the fresh fruits, the New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, and we like the wine to stand out, so we don't use a whole lot of mixture, mm -hmm. but we do do just a little splash of soda, and then a little bit of pineapple juice, of course. And same with the mojito. Since we've got wine and soda water in there, we're not gonna wanna shake it too much but just give it a quick little one-two to kind of get those flavors integrated. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. And there we have our... Looking at this, I wouldn't even expect it to be a sangria. Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally different. I like to garnish with a different colored fruit to kind of complement the flavors there. And what are we pairing this with today? That is with our new calamari sandwich. Calamari sandwich. Yeah, so fried calamari on a fresh baked pita bread with some tzatziki sauce. It's a really fun, light summer. Edible flowers. Edible flowers, of mm -hmm. course, yep. So Thursday night is ladies' night, so it's really fun to kind of come in and get a paired drink with some paired food that we have on our special ladies' night menu. Yeah. We kind of have, have pairings down to a tea on there, so it's really fun. Yeah, this is yeah. perfect. It's not too sweet. Sometimes when you taste the sangria, it's a little bit on the 
a little too much juice, a little yeah, too much mixture, stuff like the that. Perfect mixture. You gotta let the wine stand out. Yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness, so good. All right, and our final one is the coconut water. Yeah. So we don't like to always force booze on the people, so we like to do some fun non-alcoholic yeah. stuff too. Um, so we got our fresh coconut water here, and then we're a Brazilian place, so we utilize a lot of passion fruit. So some passion fruit sauce. This is a really fun, light, easy drinking, kind of like a coconut water, but it has a little bit of extra kick to it. So if you want that refreshing drink without the alcohol, and you don't want to consume alcohol. Yep, this is a really good go-to around here. Is it popular amongst kids as well? It is, yeah, and super popular amongst Brazilians. A lot of Brazilians like passion fruit and coconut. And what are we pairing? It Our with? new dessert called Brazil on a plate. Brazil so we just on a started plate. this this summer, probably like a couple weeks ago actually. So we have coconut fr coconut milk frozen in ice cream with coconut topping on top. Our famous roasted pineapple, and then some Brazilian passion fruit sauce as well. Passion fruit sauce. You put that over the ice cream. We put that over the ice cream. And in the drink. Yep. This is almost too pretty to eat. Yeah, it's, it's like the coolest <laughs> dessert we've had in a long time. Yep. I know. Okay, I have to try this now. And the Brazil on a plate just kind of names it to a T. Again, it's not too strong. It's mm -hmm. like the perfect thing because sometimes when you think of coconut water, it can be a little too sweet. It can be. The coconut water is really sweet, and then passion fruit is really tart, so it makes a really good compliment. Yeah. And uh, the best of the passion fruit brings out the nice coconut water, too. So what makes Carnival Brazilian Grill unique when it comes to the different summer cocktails? We have a really fun patio. We have the waterfall in the background out there. We've got koi fish all over the place in, the, in our little pond. So it's a really fun atmosphere out there. It's really hot because we don't have a lot of shade. So the sun is hitting. So we always want a lot of ice drinks that go down super easy and really refreshing too, to yeah. keep you hydrated. Well, they definitely go down easy, that is for sure. So thank yeah. you so much for inviting us out here yeah. and letting us try these out. For sure. Thank you. If you'd like to try one of Carnival's signature summer cocktails for yourself, be sure and stop by the bar and tell Ben you saw him on Kelloland Living. You'll also find a complete menu and see what else Carnival Brazilian Grill has to offer by visiting their website at carnivalbraziliangrill.com.